Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I've got some errands to run here at Rogue Port, so let's check our email first. <laughs> let's go mailbox, Koopook, hide and seek. What's up, Koops? After you found me, Koops, I found a nice hiding nook at a place called Goomstar Temple. It's so cold my shell is frosty, but it's a great place for hiding. Obviously, I don't want anyone to find me, but the thing is, I do want people to see how good I am at hiding. And you see the bind I'm in? <laughs> anyway, spread the word. Come find the wandering hide and seek Koopa. See you later. Or not. Yours, Koopa. I'm pretty sure we won't see him because that place doesn't exist in this game. <laughs> anyway, I've come back to Rogueport to buy some syrups because this other shop does not have syrups, and neither does this one. Dang it. This shop, however, I know has syrups. So, okay, shopkeep. I'd like two of these if you don't mind. Thank you and have a good day. Oh yeah, I never did listen to Luigi's story, did I? Hey there, I'm Louie, and this guy is a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man! You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi! <laughs> well, clearly Luigi doesn't have the most loyal of uh, party members, but apparently he did uh, get a compass piece. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that uh, his story is turning out well, so let's hear what he has to say, hey? And like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as my ship docked at the Pudding Continent, I set off for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through a dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once I thought I was done for bro. I may have screamed a bit to scare them off, you know, but as fate would have it, a blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this one town. Bluey was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now Bluey's a madman. Back in his hometown, they call him White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me fight to Rumble Bunk Volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that would make the sun sweat. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was the gigantic 100 foot tall statue that stomped around. Now the weakness of this giant statue bro was a red gem on his forehead. That sounds familiar and Mario's already sleeping. <laughs> now I can jump high, not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit and that, that weak spot. All you man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hucked Bluey up there. And bullseye! The white torpedo saved the day. That jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit. <laughs> and the stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. And I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now the compass pointed west to Plump Belly Village on <laughs> the Strudel Continent. So I set sail once again and came back here to Rogueport to recharge. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. I'm not sure who I should believe. <laughs> Probably Bluey. I mean, he's the one that does look pretty crispy. Anyway, I've also come back to Rogueport to power up Yoster! Because he's only got 10 HP and his attack power will greatly increase because he's got a multi-attack thing and it does a lot more damage if you increase his base attack power. So Shazumi it is! Woo! Yay! Then you may go! Mind if I also recover my stats at the inn? I don't think you'll mind. No, I wouldn't, don't want to use the coupon. This place is cheap to stay out for obvious reasons. <laughs> Whoa, 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 was I sleepwalking? How did I get back here? Well, anyway, it looks like the Great Gonzalez has gained some uh, reputation over here at the Glitz Pit now. Anyway, I think it's time I should go reserve another match now that I've got my errands done. So let's head on back to the room and do so, I suppose. Uh, I should probably switch to Goombella uh, right away because they are more new enemies coming up here. So reserve... Yes, 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 the Shell Shockers, uh, done, done in five turns, what? Wow, 
<laughs> I've got a date with a cute little chickadee in just a few, and I don't want to be late. <laughs> I'll get in there and bring this puppy home quick. Okay, so I gotta beat him in five turns, and that's that's not a bad idea because this this next team of enemies they're pretty dang tough, and you'll see why. So okay, let's get this going here, and I've also gotta burn two turns to tattle, so that's gonna be kind of sucky. Well. But both Mario and uh, Kumbella's turn counts as one, so, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But it's still, I'm burning turns, and these guys can do a lot of damage, you'll see. The Turtles of Hurdle, yep, a fight to the finish with the Shell Shockers. So-called Great Gonzalez, don't think I'm gonna take it easy on you, baby. And they most certainly won't. Now, as I said, these guys, pretty tough, and oh my, they have... Earthquake items, what? What? Okay, I really should get this over with quick, shouldn't I? <laughs> so let's see if I can get a good, powerful Earth Tremor going, because this does seem to be the only thing I'm consistent at in this walkthrough. <laughs> For some reason. Alright. They've all got each 8 HP, so this is a safe move to use. Because, you know, it only does 6 at max. I still gotta tattle a couple of them. Yeah! Feel the pain! I wonder if I should uh, take out uh, one of these just right away. There we go. Yeah! See, uh, these are special Koopas in that if you flip them over on their back, they actually have an increase of attack power, uh, as Goombell will show you right here. That's a shady paratroopa! It's a shady Koopa with wings! Obviously. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 1. Knock off its wings and it's a shady Koopa! Unlike typical Koopas and paratroopas, its attack jumps when it flips up off its back. That This also says it has a move that hits you and your alley at once. Is that possible? <laughs> uh, I guess the best thing to do is just to beat it quickly after you flip it. Good idea, and I should probably just take it out right now. Yeah! Don't use that item. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> one more, oops, one more tattle on the Shady Koopa to get its tattle in my tattle log. That's Shady Koopa. It's yet another member of the Koopa family tree. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 1. And the difference between them and other Koopas, they can attack from their backs. And when they flip back up, their attack gets boosted and they go totally ape. Wow, that's pretty tricky. No wonder they're called Shady Koopas, huh? No, uh, I think they're attacked boosts to like five or six or something like that. Yeah, it's pretty devastating. Oh, missed the second stylish move. That's fine. We are okay anyway. Woo! Thanks to that Earth Tremor. <laughs> Earth Tremor really sped that along. And yeah, I definitely got it under uh, five turns. Just wanted to uh, get that over and all the tattles quickly. That was well planned out, I think. I should say well enough planned out. And my ranking rolls a six. Delightful. Woo! Okie dokie. Should we go heal like... Woo! Hey, you, Gonzales. Jolene brought you a piece of cake from... Oh, yeah, his voice is supposed to be dark. Hey, you, Gonzales. Jolene brought you a piece of cake from a fan, I guess. Eat this cake! That looks totally yummy! If you chew on that, I bet you can ride the sugar rush! Mm, 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 mm. Heck yeah! I love cake! Yeah, let's eat! And we fully recovered! Woo! Including sour points, so that is an awesome piece of cake to eat. Well, boy, the Magic Koopa Masters! Now listen, son, five turns or less again, really? Well, it's good that I recovered my stuff then, huh? <laughs> But, uh, well, well, I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a, a little something special after this fight, so you might want to conserve your stats as best as you can. And I mean directly after the fight, similar to the uh, Iron Adonis twins uh, came after you. <laughs> so here they are. Oh, Magic Koopa Storm. And the Underworld Servants, yep, a fight to finish with the Magic Koopa Masters! You fool would do well to fear our dark magic. Uh, they are rather tricky, I don't really know which order I should take them out in, actually. 
Uh, they don't have all that much HP though, from what I re uh, from what I recall. Let's start out with the green magic Koopa, the flying one, just because it's out of range for a bunch of stuff. It's a green magic Koopa. It's a Koopa wizard dressed in green. Actually, fee is oh, it's kind of high. Attack is four and defense is zero. It has magic attacks. Now come also magically electrify alleys and make them invincible. In oh, invisible. Oops. <laughs> oh, this also says it'll use magic to make copies of itself, and it's all alone, which is totally lame. Because then you can't tell the real deal from the copy. That actually, this actually might be a problem because I, I've got to um, do this in five turns, and yeah, I've got to get their HP down. But if one of them turns in invisible, oh geez, and its defense just went up. That's bad. Oh, that's very bad. I might actually have to end up, uh, might end up restarting this uh, paddle just out of the way the battle ended up getting set up, like as an unlucky encounter, but I guess we'll see how things go. Because I definitely want to tattle these guys. It's a white magic Koopa, it's a Koopa wizard dressed in white. Your attack is 7, I mean, HP is 7, attack is 4, attacks with magic and replenishes allies HP. Better hit it first, huh? Oh, and this also sells that it leaves magic to make copies of set itself when it's a law alone. Which is totally lame, because then you can't tell the real deal from the copy. I definitely want to attack all of them at once, if at all possible. Like, say, with a Quake Hammer... Oh, a little bit early on my timing. Oh, I thought that was gonna hit Goombella. No healing. Dang you! <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna hit Goombella again. You tricky, tricky SOB. <laughs> Alright, turn three, tattle. Usual stuff, usual stuff. Besides using offensive magic, you can also use magic to boost attack and defense. When it's alone, this wizard will use magic to multiply. The fact that you can't tell it makes it super annoying and definitely not its color. So there's a lot of copy pasta there between the, the wizards, but anyway, I should probably start rushing them now to see if I can get this in under. Uh, five turns, because the next turn will be my last versus these critters, and yeah. So let's just power through them, okie dokie. See if I can keep getting my successful streak of battles. Oh no! Well, that's gonna do five damage. So that, that knocks out the two that I wanted to knock out. Okay, that's not bad. Mm. That's bad. <laughs> um... Actually, maybe not. Ah! Woo! Oh, a little bit late on the second timing there. Alright, I still managed to pull it off. My stats are decent. But I get a level up. Woo! So I guess it doesn't really matter how my stats are at the moment because it's just gonna recover. Um I'm gonna go my uh, flower points, because I keep running low on flower points because I keep trying to show you stuff. Uh, in parts, and thus I need more flower points than I thought I did. <laughs> so yeah, I'm fine with uh, 25 HP. Mario, it's Bowser. <laughs> I love this so much. Whoa, another fighter storming in, screaming his fool's head off about something. Gonzalez has a lot of foes, folks. Some who don't even know his name. Will he live? Word on the street was that some mustache doofus was in Glitzville, and look here! Talk about perfect timing, and all these folks get to watch me myrtleize you! <laughs> Mini boss time versus Bowser! <laughs> so, yeah, this is why you want to keep your stats relatively high. Whoa, I'm gonna destroy you, and I have witnesses! <laughs> So yeah, let's start out with a tattle here, just to get his tattle right off the bat. <laughs> That's Bowser! What is he doing here? I might just blew a fuse! Act HP is 30, attack is 3, defense is 1. He's uglier than I expected. <laughs> He's got a poisonous bite, so watch out! It'll make your HP decrease gradually. Also, if he ground pounds you, you won't be able to use one of your commands. Just focus your attention on beating him down, Mario. So yeah, he can disable you and he can poison you. That could be a problem. No, you are not going to throw your bone, dang dry bones. Throwing your body parts everywhere. Bad, bad dry bones. Um, let's see here. 
What if I decided to do, say, a charge? Get stuff powered up here. Yeah! <laughs> you can also do fire attacks on both, uh, both you and your partner. Oh! Dang it, I was way off on my timing. I'm gonna charge one more time. Remember, I, I've never showed off the charge and power bones attack combo. Aha! Uh, oops, what am I doing? Okay, we're getting it down, we're getting it down. And yeah, you can keep stacking charges for pretty much as long as you have HP. Oh! That's bad. <laughs> well... Why don't I swap the Yoshter? That's fine. Now, what do you say I do a power bounce? Oh, jeez, I screwed up my charge! But yeah, you can see why um, the power bounce combined with charge is such a powerful combo. Oh, I'd expect nothing less from you, Mario. Figures you'd get some licks in. <laughs> and now I can show off this uh, of Baby Yoshi, the mini egg. Press A and lights up. It's just like Earth Tremor. Oh, a little bit late on my timing. Perp. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I wonder if I should do the uh, charge and power bounce trick again just for fun. Oh! <laughs> yeah, his um, voice even goes a little bit higher as well. Um, the ground pound, I never showed this off before. Yeah, that's what it does, but he has too high of uh, uh, defense to actually show anything off. Needless to say, I'm just burning turns here to show moves here. Bowser's not a difficult boss by any means, it's just funny that he, that he appears. And that, the hitbox is like, I mean, his fire... You have to press the button before the fire actually reaches you. That's kind of awkward, actually. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna uh, burn more flower points, actually. Is that kind of? Mm. Mm. No, I don't want to. I don't want to do that either. Mm. I'll swap to. Hmm. Tombella. Yeah, that was a lot of silence there because I was thinking of my moves there. <laughs> All right, power bounce. That's how it's done. Arr! And he's done. <laughs> yeah, the power bounce and charge combo, pretty dang broken. If you have enough turns to save up your attack points. Oh, that's our Gonzalez. You don't even bat an eye when some nut ambushes him. Tough. You're too tough, son, and you're only gonna get tougher. Stay tuned, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya. I guess he's acting like a TV announcer now too. <laughs> Who's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez? I better get a lot for beating Bowser. Thirteen coins. Come on now. Oh, if you excuse me, I must be going. Okay, fine. I'm still watching you. Oh, that was Bowser, right? Jeepers! Who would have thought he'd show his face here? Who would have thought? Well, I did. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. I am a trophy. Oh yeah.